Nurse Shelley here from Providence Milwaukee Community Teaching Kitchen. We're here to work together with kids to make healthy meals and snacks to enjoy. I'm here with Ayana. Hi, Ayana. And her mom, Heidi. And I asked Ayana, what's one of your favorite snacks? Crackers. She likes crackers. And you know, she, one more thing she told me about was peanut butter and jelly. So, you know, today we didn't have any bread in our pantry. And for people who are trying to stay away from bread, you can still get whole intact grains and have a peanut butter jelly snack, right? So we're going to do that today. Ayana's been practicing in the kitchen with a spatula. Want to show me how you practice spreading? All right, there you go. She's been practicing spreading on her tortilla and enjoying some frozen blueberries. So the thing about bringing kids into the kitchen with you is that they learn from watching you. So Heidi, this will make your job a whole lot easier. Whatever she sees you experimenting with in the kitchen, she might, she might eat some of too. So when we were practicing, Ayana, about how many of those fresh blueberries did you enjoy? Maybe four? Five? More? <laughs> She's got some blue, blue on her lips to prove how much she enjoyed the blueberry snacking. Might have been 10 or 12. Might have been 10 or 12. So, so mom getting in the kitchen and having a plan too. Um, Ayana agreed to hang out with Heidi and I until the kitchen was clean today. And she already knows her job's going to be washing those dishes. So we'll all stay till everything's cleaned up. So the first thing we'll do is let's make some jam. You want to make some jam? Yes. All right, let's put mom to work. Okay. So Heidi, go ahead and dump some berries into a pot. You can use a saucepan or a pot. Let's mm -hmm. Get those berries. And Heidi, why don't you hand me that rhubarb? Who got the, the rhubarb for us today, Ayana? Who did that? Big sis? Big sister went out to the garden. Here is the Providence Community Teaching Kitchen. They've got a beautiful garden right outside, um, as well as a fresh and frozen family pantry. We're just going to add a little bit of rhubarb to that. Mm. All right. Hang on to that and take a big smell. Isn't that good? Nice and sour. You want to sprinkle some of that in there? Sprinkle some of those in there. Good job. All right. And then we'll add some lemon. Lemon. So Heidi, why don't you cut that lemon in half for me? Okay. So speaking of cleanup, it's good to have a garbage bowl. Put all your leftovers and garbage in a bowl. That way you don't have to leave your workstation. And you can stay right here. All right. So then, yeah, you can squeeze some lemon juice in there. Cool thing about a zester is you can zest your lemon. Nice job. And use the zester as a juicer. And it catches the, it catches the seeds for you. Little lemon juice, little zest. And then, do you remember what these are, Ayana? Seeds. Seeds. Chia seeds. Now the question. Ready to put some in there? All right. The chia seeds help as a thickening agent. So we don't need pectin, don't even need sugar. How does it smell here in the kitchen, Ayana? Good. Does it smell good? Great. Got three scoops. Nice job. About Four. two tablespoons of chia seeds. Four cups okay. of berries and some lemon juice. Okay. Let's We've been working on some jam in the kitchen today. It smells like pie in here. It smells delicious. So let's get this peanut butter and jelly together. Are you ready? You ready to have a snack? All right. So we've got some whole intact grains. We just threw in a rice cooker. Um, today we're using oat groats and we'll use that as the grain instead of bread. Heidi, do you like peanut butter in yours? I love peanut butter. All right, we'll do peanut butter. Um, I, I really like peanut butter on mine. No peanut butter for you. Do you want some of that fresh jam? Yes, yeah. Some fresh jam for Heidi. All right. There's also some coconut you can sprinkle on there if you want to try that. Okay, Ayana, you said you wanted jelly? Um, no jelly because I'm kind of... What do you want on yours? Jam. Jam. And some coconut. Some coconut? Sprinkle that on there. 
I love the taste test. So Ayana, if you can actually do a taste test and make sure this tastes okay, that would help me out so much. And disguised as a sample or a taste test, you can actually end up getting a whole serving of fruits or vegetables um, accomplished. So Ayana had a great idea about making this an on-the-go snack. Ayana said she'd like to have something to hold in her hand, that's right. Yeah. How is it, Heidi? Mm. Yeah? Satisfying? Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. <laughs> <laughs> There's some more berries if you want to put frozen on top. So I want to have this great idea where we could make a peanut butter pocket. And our friends at Cooking Matters have a great recipe where you can take a tortilla and can spread a little peanut butter on there. Some people add a little cinnamon. Ayana said the only thing better than jelly is what? Mm. Honey. So I liked her idea to add honey. Now traditionally you could put sliced banana on here, but Ayana said she wanted more berries. <laughs> yeah. So she's going to add some berries to her peanut butter pocket. And these are small, so it's a nice snack size. And you can take it as you run outside to play. I think you'll share one with your sister, too. Perfect. And then fold that guy over, huh? All right. And you can put this on a skillet. And heat it up. When you use honey or cinnamon with the peanut butter pockets, people will come running because it smells like donuts in the kitchen. What do you think, guys? Is it fun in the family kitchen? It's delicious. Yeah? Thank you, Shelly. You guys going to help me clean up? All right. Mm -hmm. I think we need to eat some more snacks. Okay. From the Davis family and the Providence Milwaukee Community Teaching Kitchen, have a healthy day.